So a couple days ago, I walk into the beautiful store of Walmart and immediately go to the Lego section and I see on the shelves some advent calendars that look absolutely amazing. I scrounge around for a little bit, but of no. course, like every other year, no. there is no Ninjago advent calendar. And until Lego makes their own Ninjago advent calendar, I'm going to make one. 24 days, I also have this massive 48 by 48 white base plate that every day I finish something, I can add to it. And once we're complete with all 24 days, we'll have a massive celebration of 2022. Let's get in with our first character here on day number one. This is combining the Overlord, the most evil villain ever in Ninjago, with Santa Claus. Now, to make him more Santa, we need to add some reds and whites. So we'll rip off his gold arms and put on some white arms for the top layer and red arms for the bottom layer. So Santa usually carries around this massive bag, a bunch of little lame toys. Bruh. And we're going to put in the bag the one thing that you need to be a YouTuber, a camera. For his upper pair of arms, I'm actually going to add a red scarf piece. Now it's time to see, can the Overlord head actually fit over a scarf? Let's try it out. It does and it looks glorious. Now Santa always wears this big goofy hat. Let's give one of these hats to the Overlord. So I got this little transparent piece and then attach Santa Claus hat there. Now it's time to give him some accessories. So I loaded this man up with four bags of Christmas surprises. And you may be asking yourself, what's in these bags? Probably cookies. So our day one build is Santa Claus Overlord and this minifigure looks fantastic. So we have this plain 48 by 48 white base plate and now we can put the Overlord on it. I'm also gonna make a little chair for the Overlord to sit on. Now this barren wasteland is looking a little bit brighter and believe me, by the end, it's gonna look fantastic. Hey, you need to build the advent calendar. What? Bruh. Uh, day two, here we go. Alrighty, so in today's video, we are going to be building a miniature build of Kai's um, dragon cruiser, whatever you want to call it. So this machine is horribly priced, but it's one of my favorite Ninjago machines. It's such a unique design, and I'm super excited to build it miniature. So the first piece I'm going to start with is this dark red upside down curved piece. I'm going to add this bright red piece to the back of it, and then some mixel joint pieces. I'm going to use these little ball and socket pieces. For the tire, I'm going to use this brand new little pull piece and put two black discs over it. Then I'm going to use these little clippy clip pieces We'll duplicate that right now. Now the Lego set has this massive engine on the back. For the giant engine in the back, we'll add this BB-8 head in light gray. For the back tire, I got a rod and added some black disc pieces to the side. Now it's time to add those flames on the side and then put some little candle pieces at the end. I'll put one of those on each side and then for the cockpit, we got this rounded tile piece in transparent orange. If I was miniature, I would totally ride this thing. Now we can add it to our big base plate. I'm actually going to make a white and red checkered pattern along it to make it look like it's about to go on an epic race. What's up guys, Dave? Welcome back guys, in today's video for our third day, we are going to be building Mini Pix 7. I like how now we have an explanation for how Pixel builds like tons of massive machines every single season. So for starters, we're going to use this round barrel piece, and then we're going to put this light gray piece. For the ponytail, I'm going to use this light gray curved piece, and then put a cheese wedge on the end. I'm going to use the same light gray pieces for each arm, and then of course her accessory is a wrench. One thing's missing here her face print. I'm gonna go to my computer, I'm going to make a mini pics print. Order it at the beautiful store of Walmart. Once I had it, I got some scissors out, cut the head print out, used some glue stick to stick it on there, and there we have it, mini pics 7. I don't have to work a single day of my life anymore. So we have the Christmas platform, and this is what we're going to add mini pics on. So I got a transparent piece to make her look like she's flying, put her up in the sky, and there we have mini pics 7. And What's up guys, day four. So for day four, we are going to build a Nutcracker. And conveniently, they just came out with a whole series and one of the characters is a Nutcracker. So I went to the great store of Walmart. I walked in, I went to the Lego section and found the newest series of minifigures and violently searched around. Now let's go home and build some advent calendar stuff. 
I also got some other minifigures, but those are for later videos. So when I got home, I ripped open all the bags and I built the Nutcracker himself. Sadly, I got two. What's the matter with you? What better character to make this Nutcracker into than Kai? So I ripped off that freakishly large hat that he's wearing, his head, his shoulder pads. For the harness, I got a classic Ninjago harness. And since this Nutcracker has little gold pirate swords, I stuck them into the harness. Then I got a red ninja mask. I got Kai's hairpiece with the bandana and actually painted it gold, which looks awesome. Now I have this awesome Kai minifigure here. Now it's time to get the Christmas base plate out. We'll give him a little yoga mat here. I don't think he's doing yoga, but he needs a yoga mat so he doesn't get cold on the snow. Don't question the yoga mat. And our Christmas base plate is looking so much better. I almost broke the stairs. What's up guys? Welcome to day five's build. It's the ugly sweater crystallized warrior. We all wanted it and now I'm going to make it for you. You're welcome. I also found a super ugly sweater and if you guys wanted me to wear something like this, you'd have to pay me at least 50 bucks. At least. So I got this ugly sweater. I took off the yellow hands and replaced one with a dark gray hand and one with a magenta. And then I put on a crystallized harness and that nasty crystallized head. This guy is looking pretty awesome, but now it's time to give him his accessories. I got a cup, but oops, he's holding it. It turns into a crystallized cup. And then in the other hand, we have a teddy bear that he's holding that he got from the overlord Santa Claus. Not quite sure why the teddy bear didn't turn into a crystallized monster. So now we have this awesome crystallized ugly sweater minifigure. It's time to get the Christmas base plate. That was dramatic. Every time this guy walks on the snow, crystals come up and make him just look like he's walking along creating footprints, the crystal prints. That actually just sounded weird. There we go. We have our day five minifigure. Welcome to day six. That was really creepy. Welcome. In this video, we're going to be building a miniature version of Jay's Golden Dragon motorbike. I feel like this is going to be really hard because I don't know how to build a motorcycle. We're going to start with the body, which is going to be two blue headlight bricks. Behind each of these, we're going to be building blue clips. A crucial part for these wheels is going to be the spoon-like piece, an ink pot, tiny wheel well, and another spoon-like piece. And we kind of have like a a wheel there. We'll do the exact same thing for the front except a little skinnier tire piece and now we actually have the shape of a motorcycle which looks pretty awesome. I just used these two extra golden swords I got with my extra nutcracker minifigure and there we have it. Jay's golden dragon motorbike and now it's time to get out the Christmas base plate. We have to add this little motorcycle to it. So I built up a little jump and then made this guy going up the jump What's up guys, day seven. Cannot wait for today's build. It's probably the weirdest. For today, we've got reindeer garment on. Oh yeah. And yes, it sounds weird, but believe me, it's weirder than it sounds. In 2018, they came out with a piece and it was the Oni mask. You could stick bananas in it, ninja swords, vines, and I'm going to get Garmadon's Oni mask and stick antlers in it. You heard that right. It does not approve on the look. It actually decreases it What's by the quite a bit. Then we're gonna give Garmin on an even uglier sweater. No, what are you waiting for? Just do it! And then we're gonna put on some orangish brown pants, give him purple hands, put a red scarf around his neck. And if that's not bad enough, his accessory will make him worse, believe me. So when I went to the beautiful store of Walmart, I also picked up a little minifigure and she has a little tutu on, but she carries this fancy candy cane piece. And we're gonna put that in Garmadon's hand and it'll finish him off just perfect. I feel like Garmadon would be like one of those neighbors that absolutely despises Christmas. Now it's time to add him to our Christmas platform. We're going to actually make him sneaking up to the overlord and stealing presents from the overlord. <laughs> Welcome to day eight. Since yesterday we built Garmadon, we might as well build Christopher 
today. We're gonna start with these sand green slope pieces. Then we'll start building up with some rocky pieces. For the top of the stairs, I actually used light gray ink pieces. Now that we've gotten to the top, we can put this heart-shaped green piece for some grass and another little leaf piece on the side. Put a little brown piece on the bottom and then we'll add a plant piece, put small green flower pieces and then bigger bush pieces on the outside. And there we have Christopher on top of his mountain. And that was what, like 30 seconds? That's gotta be a record. It almost makes me wanna sing that super cringy song at the end of Crystallized. Christmas base plates. We're gonna add him over here. We're gonna put a couple different green pieces around him to make it look like the snow is thawing around this place. We're actually going to take Garmadon, bring him over here to Christopher, and we're actually gonna give Garmadon a watering bucket so he can be watering his very nice fur. So there we have it, guys. I just love reading. I'm kidding. Let's go build Lego day nine. So for day nine, we are going to be building a Master Wu. Last year, Master Wu was the Santa Claus minifigure. He got a promotion and he gets to be a snowman. Bruh. But anyways, we're gonna make a Master Wu snowman. For starters, we're going to get the first part of his body using this toilet piece. I don't know what else to call it. And then this other rounded piece for the top of it. And then we're going to be getting skeleton arms in brown for the sticks, a plain white head. When I took my trip to Walmart and bought minifigures, I actually got this sick snowman guy. So we're gonna get that head from the snowman guy. Pop that carrot in there. Here we have a normal snowman, but we wanna make it like Sensei Wu. So in one hand, we're gonna put a staff. We're also gonna put his cape that he's wearing in the newer seasons. And then finally, the most iconic thing, the Master Wu hat. There we have it, guys, a Master Wu snowman minifigure. It's time to add him to the Christmas base plate. So we're gonna put him here. We're actually going to put a shovel and a little pile of snow beside him. We're also gonna put a half a snowman. Day 10, guys, let's go. It's day 10. This is the Samurai X mech, one of Ninjago's best mechs. And we're actually going to build it like way, way, way smaller. For starters, we're gonna use one of those one by one five studded pieces. And then we're gonna add two of those spoon pieces to the side. We're going to be putting pizza pieces in blue on them. And then a couple more clip pieces to make up the legs. For the feet, these little rounded clip pieces. And then for the kneecaps, we're gonna be using those same pieces in gold with a one by one flat tile on top. And now it's time to work up. So by far, the hardest part of this is going to be making that big red X along the chest. I tried a couple different things. I got out some red claws. That didn't really work. I finally landed on getting these shoulder pads and stacking two of those up and then putting an ink pot in the middle to hold them in place. And that looks pretty good. Now in order to make the arms, we're going to use some clip pieces. And then we're gonna put ninja swords on the hands. The head is pretty tiny in the Lego set, so we're just gonna get a one by one clip piece, put a little pink dot on it, and then a little blue cheese wedge. There we have it, the Samurai X mech. And now it's time to add it to the Christmas base plate. We're going to place her on this platform and place a couple Christmas trees around her and actually make one of the Christmas trees fallen over. And there she goes, she's cutting down Christmas trees for Christmas. This platform is really coming to life. What's up guys, welcome back to a new day. Today is day 11 and it's gonna be awesome. So Derek, of course, had to be in my advent calendar and I figured today would be the perfect day to make Derek. Since Derek usually wears brown clothes, we're going to make him a gingerbread costume. We have this gingerbread body and I just found it in one of the uh, make your own minifigures at the Lego store. It looks sort of like it has some frosting along the bottom. And then we're just gonna add some brown pants onto that. Rip off the hands and put yellow hands on the beautiful face of Derek. And then we're going to put that wacko hair on top, which looks almost as weird as mine. We're gonna give him a cookie though. For his accessory, we're actually gonna build a full-on gingerbread house. We're gonna start with using a burnt orange brick piece, a cookie sticking out for the door. For the roof, we're gonna use a couple slope pieces to make up this white frosting. So there we have it, gingerbread Dareth and gingerbread Dareth's gingerbread house. Christmas base plate! So we're gonna put Dareth over in this corner and we're gonna give him a little counter. We're gonna put a couple different frostings on this counter, an oven, oh yeah, and a trash can to throw away all the failed attempts at building a gingerbread house. And there you have it, Dareth and his gingerbread factory. Ooh, 
let's get inside and build day 12. Day 12, guys, I'm super excited about today. So you know how I said we got three different types of builds. The minifigures, we've got the miniature builds, and then we have other little builds just to add more life to this Christmas advent calendar. Today, we are going to build one of those builds to just give this whole thing way more life. We're gonna start with two snow base plates, put a bunch of slopes around them to make them pretty big so that it can hold this up. And then we're gonna use some gold rods gold lightsaber handles with a little bit of uh, mistletoe on it. And then we're gonna take Spider-Man spiderweb piece and use that along the top of here. We're gonna put a bunch of little white one by one clips along it and then put a bunch of bright flashy lights on the top. Now it's time to add it to the Christmas platform. What we're gonna do with this is basically place it on this Christmas platform and then we can put all sorts of different minifigures that we've built under it. It's absolutely partying. We're gonna put Dareth down here dancing around. We're also going to add Santa Overlord Flop over here. Yeah. Then we're also going to make Garbodon break dancing underneath. And it added a ton to our Christmas base plate. Day 13 guys, come on in, let's hit it. So it's day 13 and to honor the season where Cole is the main ninja, season 13, we are going to be building Cole's car from the newest season, Crystallized miniature version. So we're gonna start with a 2x2 dark gray plate and we're gonna add another 2x2 dark gray plate to that. Add two orange pizza pieces to the top of that. We're gonna add two transparent orange cheese wedges. On those we're going to add tiny little gold ninja swords. Now it's time to make the tires. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get these little tiny wheel rim pieces and get four hollow gold dots and attach them all to a gold pole. And there we have it guys, Cole's Dragon Racer miniature version. And now let's add it to the Christmas platform. We're actually going to make a ring of fire. I'm gonna get one of these transparent orange donut pieces I think I got in Nexonites and attach it to a little ramp. And now this guy's about to go through the ring of fire, which he could not physically actually fit through, but that's okay. It's day 14, I cannot wait for today's build. It's gonna be epic and it has nothing to do with video games. Sorry, I'm just playing a video game. So guys, right now it's 24 degrees Fahrenheit outside and because it's so cold, we are going to be making one of the coolest and coldest characters in Ninjago. Zane. So for the legs, I'm going to use his OG legs from the very first time you ever see Zane. And last time when I went to Walmart and I got that snowman minifigure, I never had a chance to use his body for anything. I'm going to use his snowman body to give it a Christmas vibe. Rip off the hands and give him black hands. And now I'm going to use a white ninja mask. On Bricklink, I was able to find this totally white Santa Claus hat with no red on it. And there we have an awesome Zane minifigure. Now it's time to work on his snowball launcher. So I'm going to use one of these gold stud shooter pieces and put a white stud in it and then on the back we're gonna use some greenery now Zane could take down anyone even the overlord it's time to add it to our Christmas platform and we're actually going to make him have a huge stack of snowballs to give him a little snow fort and there we have a little snow fort with a ton of snowballs in back nothing can penetrate zane now oh never mind kai just oh that is sad oh well i'll have to rebuild that later the best place to make hot chocolate is outside in the cold except it's not very cold and i just put cold water in here mm. So I don't know if you have seen this video right here. I built this giant crystallized mock. It's pretty epic. And in that video, I made a little noodle stand for Skylar. And I figured why not take that same design and just make my own little shop. I can make a hot chocolate shop, a wrapping paper shop. I could make a toy shop. I decided to make a wrapping paper shop simply because I found a super cute design for the overhang. I used the triangle pieces in red and Minecraft green. I also put these two Technic pieces down beneath it to make it look like the roll. In the other video, Skylar's stand is red, but this time we're going to make it the sand green color. We'll put some greenery along the front with a red one by one clip with scissors on top of that, and then we'll add three different kinds of wrapping paper, and then we'll put a little sheet of bright green wrapping paper. We'll also use a uh, toilet paper piece, and now it's time to make the overhang. But then behind it, I wanted to make scissors sticking up, and this was definitely the hardest part. I had to use some 
some interesting pieces like pan pieces for the holder of the scissors and then kind of stuck that behind the little uh, stand there. And now we have a little Christmas wrapping paper stand which looks wonderful. Now we're going to add it to our Christmas platform. We're just gonna put it right over here and we're actually going to grab Nutcracker Kai Bruh. and put him beside it because he doesn't need scissors because he's got those awesome swords. Welcome to day 16. Let's go build. And we are going to build a custom minifigure I've never tried to build. This is Hound Dog McBrag. He is a very hardcore cop from the new season Crystallized, and he is an absolute legend. For his legs, I got dual molded legs from the Highwayman from the minifigure series. For his body, I actually got Loki's body. And then for his head, I used this absolute beast of a head with a huge mustache and, and cool aviator glasses, which sadly I don't have either of. And then we got Anakin Skywalker's hair and put that on top. Now for his accessories, we have a microphone so that he can talk really, really obnoxiously loud to everyone. Ride him, cowboy! And then handcuffs. A simple and sick Hound Dog McBrack minifigure. And let's add him to the Christmas platform. We're gonna make a little prison here in the corner for Hound Dog McBrag with some flashing red and blue lights on top. And now Hound Dog McBrag has somewhere to put his prisoners. So the story goes like this. The Crystal Warrior goes to Dareth's gingerbread shop and buys a gingerbread house. He eats the whole thing in one bite and he sadly gets very sick from it. So Hound Dog McBrag is going to Dareth to lock him in prison. I'm gonna pump you full of lead. So he handcuffs poor Dareth and drags him to prison for food poisoning. Dareth can't be stopped that easily and absolutely destroys the prison and goes back to making gingerbread houses. I've got this awesome Minecraft set to wrap, but I need some wrapping paper. What kind of wrapping paper? Welcome on to day 17. It's gonna be awesome. So a couple days ago, I made a present wrapping station. And today we are going to make a ton of presents for that present wrapping stand. So I got all the main weapons the ninjas fight for season through season, got them out, and I'm gonna wrap them with the wrapping paper we have in our little stand. First off, we have the snake staff from season one, and we're gonna wrap it in green and purple wrapping paper, and we're gonna stick a little red bow on top. We've got the energy sword things. I forget what these things are called. They're called and we're gonna wrap it in blue and dark tan wrapping paper and put a giant red ribbon on top. Next up, we have the Techno Blade. Now this one is going to be really hard. We're gonna wrap it like one of those wrapping papers where you just wrap it and everyone knows exactly what it is because it still looks like the shape. So there we have the Techno Blade. Of course, a big red bow on top. We've got the Jade Blade from Tournament Elements. We're gonna use green wrapping paper to indicate the green Jade Blade. And then for the Arrow Blade, this one's really hard. Got an Arrow Blade piece, use black claws all along it and then put a little red ribbon on top. Not a cons weapon. So I used some angle pieces for where the axe pieces come out and there we have it. Now it's time for the time blades and it's actually all the colors of the time blades. For the Oni mask, probably one of the scariest and coolest things that Ninjago's ever had to fight for. Ended up just getting a couple dark red pieces and stacking them up and then making the top flat. Dragon bone sword. This weapon is pretty sick and we're just gonna make it into a tan and dark tan wrapping paper. Now it's time for the scroll of forbidden spijitsu now it would be simple if it didn't have the big scroll sticking out the side we're gonna use orange wrapping paper for this one well i gotta speed this up i'm for the Kitana. We're gonna use dark blue wrapping paper, stick a big red ribbon on top, done. Now it's time for the Blade of Deliverance, and we're gonna make this a black and white to go with the color theme of the Blade of Deliverance. Next up, we have the Storm Amulet. We're gonna use a purple rounded piece and put dark purple tiles on top of it and add a big red ribbon. Now it's time for the Wave Amulet. We're gonna use a light blue round piece with dark blue tiles on the top of it and add a big red ribbon. <gasps> There we go. Now it's time to add it to our Christmas platform. Surrounding the wrapping paper stand, we're going to put all these gifts all around it. We're going to put a couple of gifts near the Overlord's throne. We're also going to put two or three gifts under the little Christmas stand that we made before. Oh yeah, that's right. It's what, day 18? Oh, hey, there's a camera there. Huh, who knew? Let's go build day 18. It's going to be epic. Today's build is going to be the Overlord, but miniature. Let's jump right into it. We're going to use camera piece with a bunch of studs around it for starters, gold claw pieces, some transparent purple pieces, a bunch of hinge clip pieces. For the arms, we're going to use a couple spoon pieces. For his weapon, we're going to use the dark saber with a crystal piece coming out of the bottom. The legs are the best part here. 
We're actually gonna use a handlebars to make the legs kind of curve up. Then we're gonna use a couple one by one pieces, these super useful one by two pieces, some rounded donut pieces for the feet, and there we have the front legs. For the back legs, we're gonna use these flat curved pieces, robot arm piece with a spike at the end. By the arms, we're actually going to add some wing pieces. Finally, time to work on the head. We're gonna use a one by one with studs all around it, and there we have a pretty awesome head. And we are done with our buff overlord minifigure. And now it's time to add him to our Christmas platform. We're gonna use a couple of these giant crystal pieces to make him look like a bunch of crystals are appearing around him. We're gonna stick him up on two feet, which looks pretty awesome. So what's up guys? In today's video, our build has something to do with this Christmas, I mean, not this Christmas tree, but it's gonna be a Christmas tree. Well, happy day 19. Today we're going to be building a Christmas tree, but this is not gonna be your normal Christmas tree. This is gonna be Lloyd costume Christmas tree. So we're gonna start out with dark green pants from season 13 of Ninjago, and then we're going to put on this green minifigure brick torso. We're going to add Lloyd's head, this dark green samurai helmet. So for the front of the torso, we're gonna put green cheese wedges every other space, and then we're gonna put lights every other space inside of there. For his hands, we're gonna add green cheese wedges, and then on the back, we're gonna put some more lights. Now he looks a lot more like a Christmas tree, but it's time for the final touch. We're gonna get one of the new shurikens of ice and put that on top of his head for the star on top. There we have it, guys, Christmas tree Lloyd, and it's time to add him to our Christmas platform. In this section, we have the samurai robot cutting down Christmas trees. We're actually gonna make Lloyd running for his life. Day 20 guys, let's hit it. And in today's video, we are going to be continuing our mini build series. We're gonna be building Zane's Golden Dragon Jet. We're gonna start with this upside down piece and put on a bunch of black peg pieces and then stick a bunch of gold ninja swords into that. And then for the cockpit, we're gonna get a one by two clip piece and put two transparent blue cheese wedges on top of it. For the blue thruster engines, we're gonna use blue ink pots for the top, and then we're also gonna use this sticker piece I got from the actual Lego set. For the end of the wings, we're gonna use these white flat curved pieces. And for the tail on back, we're gonna use a one by one gold clip with a golden tooth on it. Two hollow dots for the jets on the back. Now we have Zane's golden dragon jet, and we can add it to our Christmas platform. This thing is getting packed full of stuff. We are going to use one of these transparent poles to make him look like he's flying above everything else. And now he can be flying over and protecting the snowy land of Ninjago. Give me a sign. What's up guys? Day 21. Let's get into the build. I'm not actually sad. Or not that sad. Since we built Zane last week, I feel like it's right that we should probably put Pixel in this. Real quick, we'll build our normal Pixel minifigure. She already has white arms and red hands, which is perfect for what we need. We'll give her these little silver ice skates, take her head off and put on a red scarf, and then we'll make a hockey stick using a pole with a stud on the top and a spoon piece. Then we'll stick that in her hand and get a dark blue one by one tile. Now we have Pixel playing hockey. It's time to add her to our Christmas platform. We're going to build a frozen pond in this corner right over here. We're gonna cover it with peel pieces first, and then we're gonna add a bunch of transparent one by two tiles to give it a nice sleek ice effect. And now we can build a bit of a rim around it with snow. So now we have pixel playing ice hockey on a frozen pond. So as always, we're gonna build this today way better and way miniature. It's day 22, we're nearing the end. And today we're gonna build a mini build of the Crystal King Temple. We're not gonna make it look like the one from the set. We're gonna make it look like the one from the show. Someday I'll have to build a full size one, but today we're gonna stick with a miniature version. We're gonna start with a little white snow piece and stick a transparent pole into it. Then we're gonna stick some transparent pink pieces onto it. So we're gonna do a quick time lapse. So here we have it. It doesn't have any crystals on it, but I left a lot of areas. Wherever there's a little transparent piece like this, we're gonna put one of these cool crystal shards. We're also gonna cover it with a couple more one by one spikes. And at the top, we're gonna make the throne for the Crystal King. You know, honestly, I bet the actual Crystal King could just sit up here. There, boom, perfect. So now it's time to add it to our Christmas platform. Let's add the Crystal King Oni Temple. We're actually gonna use a longer transparent pole to make this thing sticking even higher up above the ground. We're also 
also going to add a miniature version of the Overlord to the very top of it. And there we have the Overlord's menacing castle floating above Ninjago. <laughs> Oh man, you're welcome, I'm not doing it again. Let's go change and get ready for day 23. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve, but for today's build, we are going to make a coal minifigure and he's going to be mining for coal. Last year I made a minifigure, but he's way lamer than the one we're gonna build today. For this coal, we're gonna give him his casual season 16 body and then we're gonna rip the arms off and get his dragon form arms and stick those on so that he looks like he's powered up and ready to mine. We'll also put a lantern in one hand and then a pickaxe in the other. Other hand. Finally, we'll give him a sack on his back and then we'll put a couple pieces of coal in it. Bro, the Overlord's gonna be drowning in coal this year. <laughs> so here we have the epic coal minifigure mining for coal and let's add it to our Christmas platform. We're going to build a cave opening that coal can go into and mine for coal. Make a little keep out sign beside it, put a little stone walkway going up to it, and now we can set coal on the stone walkway. Looks like he just came out of a long day's work of mining coal. What's up guys, it's finally Christmas, day 24. We are going to make the miniature ultra golden dragon where all the ninjas combine their elemental powers and it becomes this epic dragon. I got a ton of gold pieces out and started working on the body. For the back feet, I just used one by two pieces with claws sticking out the front. Then for the front legs, I used two of these sloped curved pieces and put those beside each other. For the chest area, I used two of those white curvy pieces that slope in. I also added four spots for the four heads. And in order to cover the top of the body, I used one of those new dragon scale like pieces. For the tail, I used ingots going along the back. Now I was afraid to build the wings, but I actually came up with a genius solution. I just took the wings of Jay's dragon form and put those on. Now it's time to work on the different heads. For each of the heads, I used a couple gold one by one clips. And then at the end, I put these gold tooth pieces to make the head look better. And now we have a totally complete 24 day Christmas platform that looks so cool. Ride em, cowboy. 